wanted to give you guys an update in regards to my job applications so for the past few weeks i've been just sending my resume to like over 30 to 40 companies and finally i got an interview invitation from a uk-based company here in japan and i'll have my online interview in three days and also a friend of my dad suddenly reached out to me and offering me a job opportunity like out of the blue he just emailed me so i'm gonna meet him next week he will introduce me to the owner of the company and have a casual interview so yeah that's the good news so i fi i finally got my ticket going back to philippines next year so that's another good news um yeah i think that's about it um I actually woke up not feeling well today i got cold it's getting really cold here in japan and i think the change of weather got me these colds so for this week i'm just gonna focus on recovering and preparing for my upcoming interviews so wish me luck everyone the day when I'm gonna meet my dad's friend at 2 p.m. but then before that I actually have another interview with a certain company here in Shibuya so I'm on my way to that interview which is gonna be at 10 a.m. currently it's 8 30 a.m. so I still have time to review my notes and since wala akong mascara, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Donkey and apply some mascara. But alam nyo, sobrang nervous ako ngayon. Sana po masa ako sa interview ko dito. But yeah, so today is gonna be a busy day. So yeah, let's start our day. happen right after my interview biglang nasira yung hair tie ko buti na lang hindi siya nasira during the interview but anyway um the interview the interview was okay i'm really not confident if i did well parang feeling ko i was not really able to explain myself well um the interview was both in english and japanese and I think I struggle ako dun sa Japanese because I'm not fluent with Japanese. But anyway, regardless, I did my best. So, okay na yun. Um, Okay, next. My next interview is gonna be at 2 p.m. Hindi pala 2 p.m. 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. So, I have three interviews today. So, the next one will be at 12 p.m. Um, with my dad's friend. So, I need to go to his office in Kyobashi at 12 p.m. and he's gonna explain to me about like, the information about the company. So, bago ako ma interviews ng 2 p.m., he's gonna prepare me with all of this information. Plus, he said he's gonna go together with me to that interview so that he can help me get through that interview. So, yeah. Grafe. Hindi ko alam kung Bad luck ba to? <laughs> but anyway, I don't have time to eat. I'm actually really hungry. So I'm just gonna buy soda water. Kasi ang fear ko mamaya tumunog yung chan ko during the interview. So ayo natin yon. So I'm gonna buy a soda water and I'm just gonna have lunch like later. And as for my hair tie, wala. I cannot buy now. So I'm just gonna fix my hair. Ilului ko na lang. So yeah. Tara na kasi we only have like 
less than an hour. So let's fix our hair and head to his office. interview for this year and to be honest I feel more relaxed and at peace knowing that I'm done with all of those interviews so I can go back to Philippines with a peace of mind and I can relax <laughs> but let me just update you guys with what happened with my second and third interview so when I met my dad's friend and sobra nag enjoy ako talking to him because I didn't really feel that it was an interview parang casual talk with a friend because he was just talking about how my dad was and how he, my dad helped him when he was working back in Philippines and hearing those kind of stories made me just really emotional because it's really rare that I get to meet someone who knows my dad here in Japan so being able to talk about my dad with someone just makes me feel happy I know how my dad is he was such a good man so hearing that from other person just crap I wanted to burst into tears but I was just holding it and I was just like proud to be my dad's daughter but anyway your company um, it's a startup company, but I believe that it's a growing company. Ang nakakalungkot lang. There is no position that is suitable with my experience. But the good thing is they're hiring more people next year. So he mentioned that he needs someone who's gonna take care of the revenue management, and he thinks that I'm suitable for that position. So once that position becomes available. He, he will reach out to me again so it's really not bad I think there is a lot of like potential in that company and in this position so I'm really looking forward for him to, to reach out to me next year so yeah yeah that's about it and yeah I just want to end this video to thank you guys for being with me during this journey I really wasn't sure if I was gonna share this experience with you guys but I will share it anyway because I want to be real and transparent with you so I hope you guys enjoy this video and please keep supporting me and see you guys in Philippines